Today on The Domestic Geek, we are celebrating mom with an apple, cranberry, French toast bake. Mom will thank you, your taste buds will thank you, everyone will thank you. All right, so we're gonna build this French toast bake in three different parts. The first part is going to be the French toast itself, and we are starting with just some cubed French bread. Now, I left this out overnight to get it a little dry. Uh, totally, you can skip that step, it's fine, but I prefer day-old bread in my French toast. I think it absorbs the liquid much better. And now we're just gonna mix our egg mixture. What I have in my bowl are six eggs, and then we're going to add a cup and a half of of milk and then half a cup of cream. Now you could do this with two cups of milk if you want to keep it on the lighter side or you could do it with a cup of milk and a cup of cream if you really want to go way over the top. Then we're just going to add some spices, some cinnamon, some ginger and some nutmeg, a quarter cup of brown sugar for a little bit of sweetness and then just a splash of vanilla to liven up all those flavors. It's going to be amazing. We want to get this really well combined before we pour it over our bread mixture and the bread's gonna soak it all in. It's gonna be so delicious. We wanna make sure all of our bread is gonna soak up this goodness. And that's gonna be our first layer of our French toast bake. I have liberally greased a baking dish because I will tell you this mixture does love to stick. So don't be shy when you're greasing your pan. And while this is all soaking up, we're gonna work on our second layer, our beautiful cinnamon apples. I am starting with three Granny Smith apples. You can mix it up a little bit if you want some more tart with some more sweet apples. That works too. I prefer my apples a little bit tart, so Granny Smith is perfect. We're gonna peel these, dice them up, and get them into a little bit of a butter bath. Then we're just gonna hit them with a little bit of sweetness to help them uh, break down a little. We're gonna add some brown sugar, a hit of cinnamon, and just a little touch of maple syrup. Because we can, because apples and maple syrup are delicious. So by frying the apples, we're gonna give them a little bit of a head start. That way when we add them to our French toast bake, they'll cook in line with all the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm starting with about three tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna let that get all crazy. Now you don't wanna leave these unattended because there is a lot of sugar in this pan and we don't want it to burn. So you wanna keep those apples moving. Now don't you think your mom will appreciate all your hard work? So now it's time for step three in our process, our cranberry pecan crumble topping. We're going to add a half a cup of brown sugar to a half a cup of flour. Then we're gonna add a cup of chopped pecans. Oh, that's a thing of beauty already. And some beautiful, gorgeous cranberries. They have such a nice tartness to them. To that, we're just gonna add some melted butter, get it all incorporated, and then crumble it over this beautiful apple French toast concoction. It's like layers of dessert goodness, but it's actually breakfast. You can also make this the night before and refrigerate it overnight. That bread will just soak up even more of that delicious egg mixture. Can't go wrong that way. You just wanna make sure you bring it to room temperature again before you bake it, otherwise it'll affect your baking time. This guy is going into the oven 350 for about 50 minutes. When it comes out, it's going to be so ooey gooey on the inside and then gorgeous and crispy on top. Oh my gosh, this is a work of art and you should smell the house. It smells like apples and cinnamon and deliciousness. Your mother is going to love you. All you need to do is cut these into slices, top them with a little bit of maple syrup and you have breakfast perfection. And be sure to let me know how it goes. Tweet me or Instagram me a photo of how it all turns out. And of course, subscribe to The Domestic Geek for more great recipes just like this. Happy Mother's Day.